I might not be a millionaire. I might not have all these expensive things. I might not have a car. I might not have all these other things, but bitch, I'm a peep when you're messing with me. I just used to not do anything about it. That's the problem. <laughs> What up y'all listen welcome back to the darkest sunrise where it's dark bitch but the sun be rising okay i don't know i'm in a good and a bad mood today so i don't i don't even know how to explain that for real but um i really i just wanted to kind of come on here and give you guys a video and i thought about which video i wanted to do and i think the video that i want to do is this guy that i was talking to after i had my daughter like the first guy that i took seriously after i had my daughter because i only took i think i've only taken like two guys <laughs> tip seriously since having my daughter and this is one of them i gotta get my notes because i was gonna do this story a while ago and then i just didn't get around to it because bro i just didn't get around to it you're gonna catch me in my pajamas today because i gotta let my burn get some air okay i burn myself with a curling curling iron on my chest on my forehead and this is just chin pimples okay just don't do too much on me okay let me turn off my fan i want to say a huge thank you to everybody who is on my channel that is liking subscribing showing love support anything i just absolutely love everyone across all platforms honestly like my tiktok my podcast my youtube everything i absolutely love you all and i just you're the greatest all right but let's get into this okay i met this man on tinder Ugh, that should tell you all you need to know okay at this point personally for me I just was trying to explore really I wasn't trying to find like the love of my life per se but it was like a point I was at a point in time that I felt like you know I've spent so much time by myself you know I went through postpartum depression I had my daughter you know my daughter's dad wasn't there all those different things I went through all these like different types of like emotion it's time for me to do something for myself and for some reason I thought that was fine me and me stupid bitch went through and there's this man and he's got like oh he was oof. listen that's a fine ass man i will say like listen I, I will give credit where credit is due this man is fine right this man is fine as hell and he had just like oh like the moses beard and like he went to the barber like oof, like he dressed good girl like i just was like mm. and i just swiped right and I honestly didn't expect to match with him because at the time I was super insecure. I'm not even gonna lie. I was insecure. I'd not lost my baby weight yet. I still was like feeling like I was trapped in a body that wasn't mine. Like I'm, I'm gonna be dead ass. I really felt like he was not gonna swipe with me. And we matched, bitch. We fucking got him. <laughs> and I end up talking like and clicking immediately bro like I'm saying immediately like we talked about our boundaries um I found out that he had a daughter we both have really beautiful Puerto Rican daughters um I found out that like all, all these different things about him like I'm telling I'm telling you he like opened up about his trauma to me which is something that is like not many men do I've noticed um and I am like a very I, I I'm on this shit now I'm a, I'm sensitive as fuck okay I feel my emotions to the 10th power um I feel my sadness I feel my love i feel my affection so like i'm really like oh, yeah, that's my man because like he shows his feelings he's communicative like he's i really was into it so but okay, i was like oh that's my man. what because you know how i'm finding out that there's this distance between us okay like he lived i'm gonna say like an hour away an hour and a half away or something like that for me that's gonna give me a little bit of pause because i feel like i don't drive so i'm not gonna be I'm not gonna force you to come down here every time on your dime so it's either like you're gonna accept this fucking gas money from me because I'm a fair person or you can just go about your merry little way and find somebody else because like I'm not gonna be like talking to somebody and then you're driving doing all of the driving I give you no gas money because you tell me that it's fine and then we end up breaking up and you're holding this shit over my head like that bitch never even gave me gas money like no absolutely not I'm not no absolutely not he'd openly talk to my daughter um when we were on the phone because we've mind you like we've never met in person this whole story time never met in person okay facetimed called all that never met in person I talked to my daughter on the phone like and she couldn't talk at the time so like he would she would just be babbling and he would just be talking to her and he'd be like hey beautiful how are you like being so nice okay and then i told him i was like okay like I, I like that you're nice okay I, I love that he was nice to my daughter but I told him like basically that I have a six month to a year rule like nobody's gonna meet my daughter unless I've known you for that amount of time unless we've gotten to know each other for that amount of time if I feel like it's going somewhere okay and I don't mean just like friendships I mean like relationships if it's going somewhere it has to I have to feel like it's going somewhere because if it's if it's not what's the point of me introducing you to my child because that is not only detrimental to um 
me but it's detrimental to my child if something happens to me and you you know what i mean it's and i'm more concerned about her because she already doesn't have her dad so for me i got it has to be locked the fuck in for me to even consider you meeting my child he like respected that and told me he felt the same because like that is something super important he said i don't know if he ever had any girlfriends ever he's I can't remember if he said he had any girlfriends ever meet his daughter um but at this point in time he was living pretty far from his daughter um because he was going to school and trying to better himself and he would go back and forth he would go across state line are they in different state no he would draw he would travel to go see his daughter we had um we i don't know we just connected on a different type of wavelength like we connected so deeply talked about so many deep things in our lives and it was just like i was so I was like how how where have you been <laughs> where have you been like it was so refreshing going through everything that I had gone through during my pregnancy after you know leaving my daughter's dad being with my daughter's dad like it was so much shit that I had gone through that I was like yes but no girl <laughs> no the first time like ever because I used to be this type of person for the first time I wasn't rushing it like I was like oh I really like him but like I want to take it slow I want to really like get to know him and especially like, with my daughter like no I'm not I can't rush anything anymore we we vibed bro we really vibed so hard what comes with you getting to know somebody every day and talking every day and talking on the phone all the time you get to know their routine okay so he would message me in the beginning he would message me every single morning like good good morning beautiful Psych! sending him a good morning every single morning and he would never send me one and it's it's whatever if you wake up at a different time whatever but it seemed like it almost like that was like my first red flag and i think that one was like a hit or miss might have been a stretch because it's like girl not everybody wakes up that early so like i'll give that to him but he just seemed like very like fast paced in the beginning not like fast paced like we're rushing and he wants to see me like right now right now like you know what i mean like not like that but like it just seemed like it was starting to shift a little bit about me is i'm a recovering people pleaser so i can sense like the smallest shift in your demeanor so he just started acting like the like the smallest things i was picking up on like he, the way he was texting like i was picking up on like and the thing is it'd be different if like i was wrong because people could be like you're fucking crazy for reading it it'd be different if i was wrong bitch i'm i'm not wrong when i overthink and that's the problem it's it's that that's why i have so much anxiety is because most times when i've overthought something i've been fucking dead set dead on okay and it's just oh i don't like my brain i don't like the intuition that i have i mean i do but i don't if that makes sense it's a change and like i i I'm big on communication in relationships okay and this is when I was just really trying to start like really healing you know and um I just wanted answers because why are you acting weird and it, he just like his whole like it wasn't just the texting like on the phone sometimes too he would act weird so I asked him and he basically was like you know like I'm just afraid that if I like hit you up every time I think about you I'm gonna annoy you and girl why did I eat that shit up? You dumb fucking bitch! I'm gonna no. fuck you! Why? What? what? Girl, bye. Open my mouth wide for him to spoon feed me that bullshit, girl. Oh. There comes a point in time where he had this and if you want like an in-depth of this story time please go check out check it out on my podcast um, i might link it below it comes this point in time because we were both pretty creative okay because he was in college i was in college we both loved to write we both are just really creative beings and so he had this like slam poetry thing coming up so for days leading up to this slam poetry thing nothing he ghosts me completely ghosts me i'm talking like not at all says nothing to a bitch and i'm gonna say a couple days after too but in this span of time okay i started doing some digging which again like like i said in the podcast i'm never doing it because listen if it's if it's meant for me to see i'm gonna see it i'm always going to find out if you're doing some shit behind my back i just have like the sixth sense my to my intuition like god the, the universe everything be on my side when it comes to that okay i might not be a millionaire i might not have all these expensive things i might not have a car i might not have all these other things but bitch i'm a peep when you're messing with me i just used to not do anything about it that's the problem <laughs> i decided to do some digging and i go on his um his social media i go on his instagram <laughs> my camera died as usual always so i go on his instagram okay 
you know how you're out the game for a minute so i'm not really i don't know what i'm like looking for per se but i found it because girl all of the i know you're cheating on me i'm i have to be psycho to get the answers that i need is coming back to me okay and so i go and i start looking i didn't i was not about to look through his whole following because that was like that was too much um you know um i went and i looked at i think there was like a i went through his pictures and i went through like the likes in his pictures because he didn't have a whole bunch of likes so i went through the likes in his pictures and there's this girl that just kept popping up like she kept liking his pictures and you know oh my god let me take a look let me, let me let me check you out for a second honey like what you doing up in mommy is mommy is okay girl he was not my man but listen i go and i look at her i go and i look at her um i go and i look at her instagram and when i tell you it's like four thousand people in this bobblehead ass nigga like this bitch's picture <laughs> oh don't cry are you <sighs> here we go again here we go the fuck again okay oh and i just literally i forgot a whole chunk of this story bro hold up let me take it back before we continue pause before we get to her this i had invited him to a halloween party okay and there were so many people that were supposed to come to this halloween party but i did not have friends who really showed up for anything that i had except for this one girl and we aren't even friends anymore so like like literally nobody showed up to this party it was just this one girl that i used to be friends with that showed up at this party okay and so this boy i had invited him okay but i also invited another guy before i had even met him okay already invited another dude and the guy liked me i will say the other guy liked me but it wasn't i didn't invite him to be up on him you know what i mean i just invited him and so i told i was open about it to this to the guy that i was talking to did i give him a name we'll call him james i was open to i was open to james about the situation and bro listen him if it was gonna make him uncomfortable i wasn't gonna disinvite somebody that i already invited before i invited you but i will tell him what it is so that like he's not trying to be up all up on me and it's not like weird and maybe if he realizes that like i'm gonna be up on somebody else he's not gonna come anyway because i don't want to hurt nobody's feelings i don't want anybody to be upset like i just i didn't want there to be any issues it didn't even it didn't even matter because nobody shows up to anything that i ever fucking put together which is why i stopped inviting everybody but it's fine it's fine you show up to my shit you know i ain't talking about you squeeze don't squeeze your foot in that tiny ass shoe want you to keep that in mind okay that i told him that i was willing and able to <laughs> i told him that i was willing to let this guy know what it is okay mind you nobody came whatever the guy didn't come he didn't come he ended up going into the city to party with his friends whatever um but just keep that in mind for later back to this girl okay so this girl i'm, I'm telling you she is so bad like oof, like chef's kiss like plus size baddie oh i was so Arked. <laughs> i was arced i was so mad bro because like the confidence that she just exuded and i had just had a baby and like i i i felt like shit the second i saw that he was liking her pictures but it wasn't about what he was liking it wasn't it wasn't about the, it was about what he was saying bitch so i go and i click on her one picture and the caption was like he says i'm the best baby um and underneath it is him Good old James going, the best baby. Because first of all, how do you know? How do you know that that's true? How was like fire and like hard eye emojis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. I just ugh. immediately my heart sank to my booty crack because this man isn't talking to me now. You ghosted me. Like we're like, like I'm, I'm sitting here like, what the f okay and so i don't say anything like i find this stuff he ends up coming back <laughs> randomly at like 3 a.m because he did know for a fact he did um not talk to me for like three days after his whole performance like nothing messages me again and he's like hey baby who my name's kirsten 
What are you talking about? I'm not your baby, because girl, I was mad. I was real, I was real mad. Because it's like, why are you messing with my time? Because when I say like, I'm not telling you in depth all of the things that we talked about, but we talked about our childhood trauma. We talked about um, the trauma of my pregnancy. We talked about his trauma from his past relationship. We talked about um, how his daughter's um, mom stabbed him. We talked about how, um, there was like all of these different things that like he went through in that relationship that hurt him and there were he, he we talked about all of these different things like we were so in sync and deep okay just it was it was weird it was it was weird but like um all that extra shit had me like okay i'm done because none of you are worth this at this point because this was this kicked off me not wanting to fuck with any man after this okay because i feel like i did i to the other guy i think i talked to the other guy after him so i didn't even keep up with my words <laughs> it's whatever after i after i give him the business okay he's like i understand how you feel like i should have been communicating with you more like i'm so sorry like, sir get out of here like it's the gaslighting that pisses me off like i hate when men are like i should have communicated with you better like i should have done so then why didn't you like get out of here and so he he goes on to try to like reel me back in and I'm like, I've seen enough. I've seen what I needed to see. I'm, I'm cool. You said, because mind you, we established after, I don't even know if I said this, but we established after the whole me asking him why he's acting weird, that we were talking to just each other. Like, we only were speaking to each other. Nobody else. We weren't dating per se, but we were only talking to each other. We established this. We made this, like, we was here with it, okay? At least I thought we were. And so... I'm like no I've seen all I needed to see like I know and I'm not about to tell you what I saw because you know what you did and if you didn't know what you did then you probably out here doing this tenfold you know what I mean like come on now it, it, he made me so mad because he was like I wish I had I wish I had the time to drive two hours to your house like I wish like started getting like all the but I have this going on and that going on like started getting snippy with me and I'm like sir you don't have to get all sassy because I already know that you have all that going on but i'm talking about something that you've actually done like get out of my face like trying to like put it put it back on me because what did i say i would pay for gas money and what did he do he throw he threw that shit back in my fucking face i knew that he would throw that shit back in my fucking face that's why i always say if i don't have the ride if i don't have the vehicle i'm paying for the gas it's that simple and then he also went on to throw in my face the guy from halloween he said I don't understand like you I don't know what you want me to say like you're you're throwing all these mixed signals because you had a, a whole different man coming to your party the fuck you lying why you always lying mm, oh my god stop fucking lying and the man that I told you that I would tell him what it is and he just ended up not coming and that's why I didn't tell him what it is because then I never saw him again in life that man that one is that who we're talking about Oh, okay. All right. Sir, get the fuck out of me. <sighs> oh my god. And he just, he literally continued to be like, yeah, like, throwing all this, like, trying to, trying to make me think that, like, I have no reason to be upset right now. No reason to, to even, to even worry. I don't know why you're acting like this. Like, we could have been fine. Everything could have been, okay. like, no, everything could not have been okay because you were fucking lying. Ew, okay. Ew. And so he goes on the gas and I'm like, I'm so good off this fucking, I'm good. I'm so, I'm so good. Bye. See you later. So, uh, the, we have this like argument. He tells me to next time, take it slow. <laughs> Bro, next time, take it slow. And I'm like, who was going fast with you, bro? Who was going fast? All I asked for was just honesty. Literally, he asked me in the beginning. He was like, what do you value most in relationships? And I said, honesty. I like honesty and I like to just be treated nicely. <laughs> Bare minimum ass shit, to be completely honest. I thought I, I thought it wasn't much to ask for, but pop off, I'm doing the most. When I say I went about my business, I deleted him. What about my business? He tried to add me back after I deleted him on Snapchat. What, like, bye. So that whole situation went down and we stopped talking completely, okay? And then one day I just randomly happened to be, listen, I'd be creeping, bro. And I don't even give a fuck because y'all be creeping too. And if you say that you don't, you're a lying ass bitch. And so I went creeping because I was like, I wonder what he's up to. Like, 
wonder what's going on, you know? And I go and I creep on his profile. And he has that he's in a relationship with this girl. Okay, we'll call her Olive, okay? <laughs> Do you know that Olive is his baby mother? Do you know that Olive is the baby mom that stabbed him? Yeah, okay. Okay, I don't know what happened to the other girl. But he said, I'm going to take it the whole way back home, girl. I'm coming home to you, girl. Get that knife ready. No, I'm kidding. That's not, it's not funny. But it's funny because what, what, like, did she even stab him? Because men be coming up with shit because they're like, oh, I need to be the victim real quick. Oh, someone give me, I need some water. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't really know. It's like she actually stabbed him. But if she did. you probably would have been better off going with the daddy from Instagram. That's all for today, friends. I just, I learned that I really, after this situation, I learned that I really just had to kind of take um, even longer of a time to get to know dudes because they're still lying, even whenever you're taking your time. Uh, and I had to hone, hone them discernment skills. Okay, I had to hone them discernment skills a little. I had to tweak them a bit because, girl, there were some red flags up in there. And honestly, there weren't at the same, like, there were, but there weren't. Like, it was like he was so player about his shit. And listen, never again. <laughs> never the fuck again. But, I mean, I did appreciate, like, he was so, like, he complimented my motherhood. And that was another thing I really liked about him. He was just like, you're such a great mother, like, to have to do this all on your own. And to have to really just, like, just... Because I told him how I felt about my body. I told him how I felt about um, my ex and how I felt about, like, all the things that happened between us. And he was like, you just are so strong, like, to go through all of that and to, to come out and, like, raise this beautiful little girl as to be a kind human. Like, because, bro, he had me in tears half the time with the, the nice things that he would say to me. But then was an op-ass bitch. Like, what? I need to stop. I need to stop calling people out of their name. He wasn't an op ass bitch. He was an op ass sir. There we go. Yep. He was an op ass sir. Thank you. Okay. I will check you guys out in the next one. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Check out my podcast as well. And I will check you guys out in the next one. Bye. Actually, just so you know, my podcast is in the description box. I feel like everybody knew that, but I just wanted to head on out there and let you know, hey, just in case you were trying to figure out, you know what I'm saying? All right. Love you guys. Bye.